Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to get the Realtek HD Audio Manager. First of all, you will want to uninstall all your audio drivers from Device Manager. So we're going to right click on the Start button in the bottom left hand corner and select Device Manager. Next, you'll want to go up to where it says View and make sure you click on Show Hidden Devices. Now expand Audio Inputs and Outputs as well as Sound, Video, and Game Controllers. And it's in these two locations where you'll find all your audio drivers. Uninstall every single one of the drivers that is associated with your audio card. So you do not want to uninstall a driver that is for a microphone or I have a turntable plugged into my computer. You do not want to uninstall those drivers. Just uninstall the ones that are associated with your audio card and they will say something like Realtek or high definition audio device, etc, etc. And it may prompt you to restart your computer as you are uninstalling these drivers. If it prompts you, say no, because we are going to install the correct audio driver that will give us this Realtek HD Audio Manager. And we want to do this first before we restart because Windows might install its own driver that's you know not what we want. So we're going to first download the correct driver. Now there are two places where we can download the drivers from. One is from Realtek's website, Realtek being the, the manufacturer or the, the company that's associated with these drivers or we could install it from TechSpot. Now I mentioned TechSpot because Realtek, Realtek's website is honestly problematic. The download speeds are extremely slow and today I ran into an error while trying to download the driver. But if you insist if, if you're able to download from Realtek's website, I will show you how. So, select your language at the top right hand corner of your screen. I have selected English. Now expand the menu on the left, on the top left corner of your screen and go to Downloads. And now click on Computer Peripheral ICs. Now we're going to choose a subcategory. Select PC Audio Codex and then expand that again and select High Definition Audio Codex. And now select the first one you see, the one that says Dash VD. Click on Software. So you're going to choose a driver for your operating system. So it could be Linux or Windows. I'm going to, I'm, in my case, I would click on the 64-bit um, version for Windows 10. So click on that. And we're going to agree to the terms and download. I can put a check mark here. Download this file. And as you can see, I have run into an, an issue. To send email fail. So if you run into a similar issue or if it takes forever to download um, the, the, the file, we're going to go to this other website, TechSpot, and download the same driver version, 2.82, from here. So we're going to select the version that, that suits you. So in my case it would be Windows 64 bit only. Once you click on that it should take one or two minutes to download. I'm not going to do it because I've 
I've already gone through this process. But basically, you will want to um, double click on the downloaded file and it will take you through the process. You may have to restart your computer. Actually, you will have to restart your computer. And once you have restarted your computer, check to see if your problem has been resolved. Maybe go to Control Panel. I'm going to change it to Large Icon View because it seems like a lot of people use this view. If Realtek HD Audio Manager is not showing up here, I'll show you what you can do next. Next, we're going to um, open File Explorer, and we're going to double click on the C drive and go to Program Files and scroll down and see if you can locate a folder called Realtek. Double click on that. Next, double click on Audio if it's there, and double click on the folder HDA, and then locate a file with the name RAVCPL64. So this is your Realtek HD Audio Manager. If you have checked File Explorer and you don't see a Realtek folder, or you don't see an audio folder inside Realtek or an HDA folder inside audio, um, I will show you what you can do next. So, we're going to close these just to get these out of the way. Next, we're going to search. Actually, I'm going to copy this Realtek HD Audio Codec Driver 2.82 and I'm going to paste it here. And instead of putting 2.82, I'm going to put 2.81. This is the previous driver. Apparently this one, apparently if 2.82 doesn't work, this one should fix your problem. So do the exact same thing. Click on Windows 64-bit only or whichever one suits um, you in your case. And then you're going to go through that same exact process where you would have to uninstall. Well, first you would have to go to Device Manager, click on Show Hidden Devices, and expand Audio Inputs and Outputs and Sound, Video, and Game Controllers. Go through the exact same process where you would have to uninstall every single driver that's associated with your audio card. And then once you've done that, you'll want to double click on your downloaded um, file for version 2.81. And you, you would want to go through the same process. You would have to restart your computer. All right, now you have restarted your computer and we're back in File Explorer. And, and we would do this assuming that you are not able to locate Realtek HD Audio Manager and Control Panel. Double click on your C drive, go to Pro Program Files, and by now you should have a Realtek folder and an audio folder inside Realtek and an HDA folder inside audio, and this file right here, RAVCPL64. Uh, assuming you have all of those, you would want to double click on this file, which brings up the Realtek HD Audio Manager. So, hopefully this video helps you. If you are experiencing issues, Please do not hesitate to comment down below. There could be issues anywhere during this process, so please communicate to me exactly where the issue occurs, and I would be more than willing to help you invest, investigate the issue and help you out. So, thank you for watching. Have a great day.